Hey, Dorita here with just a very quick little um, lesson about um, some place value where I want to clear up a couple of misconceptions that most of my kids come into fifth grade with. And so in order to, um, to share this with you, I'm going to give you a, um, I'm going to show you this diagram that I have them do for their journals. Okay, so the diagram looks like this. And basically what this does is it kind of gives us um, a real explanation about how our number system actually balances around the ones place. Now, the reason that I have them circle this is because the decimal point, when we look at a, a number that's written in standard form, it seems like the, that the decimal point is actually the middle of the number. But what it is, is that it's just the point where whole numbers end and fractional numbers, or our decimals, begin. Well, it's really always attached to the ones place. So the decimal point and the ones need to be thought of kind of as, uh, as a unit themselves. And so uh, the decimals are always with the ones. And, and if we can realize that, then it's going to clear up a lot of misconceptions. Also, we can see how the, the, the tens, which are ten times the ones, are actually balanced over here on the other side by the tenths, which are ten, um, the, the ones that have been divided into ten parts. Same thing with the hundreds. The hundreds are ten tens, but over here, then we have our tenths have been divided into 10 pieces and become hundreds. And so you can see how each place value, as you're moving in this direction, their value is multiplied times 10. And if you move in this direction, their value is divided by 10. But all of it balances around the one's place, the whole unit place. So I hope that this has helped uh, clear up a couple of things. I know it does for my fifth graders because a lot of times they come in and they think that the first decimal place is going to be the once place, which um, which is really kind of understandable when uh, when they don't really get that the decimal um, is just a point. It does not occupy a place. And so I hope that this helps um, give you some ideas of some things that you can show your children or your kids to help them understand that point because it will clear up a lot of their confusion. So thanks a lot. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my blog. And, uh, and my blog will be, um, is linked to my YouTube channel. And so thanks a lot. And I appreciate it and I will see you on the next video. Thanks.